Hey everybody, I want to show you a quick walkthrough of this awesome software, the Facebook Timeline and Banner Set. So first off, as soon as you install it, you're going to find the template set on the left here if you scroll down and select Facebook Timeline. A whole bunch of templates will appear, and you can modify any of these a thousand ways. For example, this is an easy one. Click on it, give the template a name, and it pops up for a quick headline. You can simply click on the text, go to edit, and edit your text. And we can make the text bigger. There you go, quick and easy. Then simply go to the export menu. Then just hop over to your Facebook page, choose the change cover icon, upload the photo, and it'll fit perfectly into your Facebook timeline area. And here's a little cooler trick, pick a template, name it, and here's a picture. If I click it, I can remove it, and I'm going to import another picture from my own hard drive. There's me and the kids, and I'm gonna move it back slightly. Not all the way to the back, but I'm gonna move a little further back. Might have to do it a couple of times, because it's in layers, and the little check marks kinda of go over it. I can take this away, and the background is changeable too. Up here, after you install it, you're also going to find Facebook Timeline images. Some really cool images here. We can take this background, drop it in, move it to the back, and delete the wooden background. Hit the delete key, done, and we can type my fam or whatever you want. Change the color, change the size, change the font, give it a little drop shadow. can even move the checkers a little bit to get them out of the way and bring it onto your Facebook timeline. And if you notice, sometimes this happens where the text you created is hidden by your face and by text. So easy, go back to the logo creator, move the text up, reposition it, re-export it, and bring that one instead into your timeline area. Ta-da, pretty cool. Now here's the trick. Facebook wants a canvas size, of, an image size of 850 by 315. The logo creators templates, all of them, are in that exact size, 850 by 315. So all you have to do, delete, import your own photo, position it a little bit, send it back, and add any text you want. But don't change the size of the canvas. If you change the size of the canvas, you're going to notice it's a big canvas and Facebook won't accept it because it is now 1248 by 553. You don't want that. So always, always set the canvas, make the canvas exactly how it was 850 by 315. And if you do set the canvas and you forget, go to the options menu, format canvas, and you can type in the width 851 by 315 and it's exactly how it should be again. Now the cool thing about the software is that you can make banners out of it. You don't have to use it for Facebook. For example, you can make a banner using this template. You simply take Frankenstein, delete them, import a picture of yourself, move them to the back, delete this one, this, this thing, and now you can change the size to whatever you want and whatever else you have in the logo creator, you can bring them in and add more text. And then you can put this up onto your Twitter channel if you want to, onto your web page, make a blog graphic. All you have to do is just change the graphic size, change the canvas size to whatever blog size you want and position images inside of it. Super easy, super fun, and you get 50 templates to start off with and they're all really easy to use and import your own pictures with. So I hope this walkthrough tutorial helped. So go out and have fun with the Facebook Timeline and Banner Creator by Laughing Bird Software.